the technology to make VR, it's a pretty simple equation for us. Bigger, more, faster. There's the CPU, the GPU, and then there's memory and storage. In order to make VR, you need all of those to be big and fast. Most people don't realize, but virtual reality has actually been around since the mid to late 60s. The second wave of virtual reality was actually in the early 90s. But at the time, the technology was not ready. We've actually been waiting for enough computational power both to build and experience these worlds. One of the aspirational aspects of VR is having more and more things active. We don't know what people are going to do, so we need all the environments to be active in line. Then, once I've created my highly complex environment that's all interactive inside the box, I need to keep that frame rate super high so that I don't have my audience throwing up, which is suboptimal. I want lots of pixels because I want them to be pretty, but I also want them to be high fidelity from a physics perspective. I want them to behave correctly. I really love the psychological idea behind VR where subconsciously you don't know the difference. Your most powerful sense is the eyesight, and now we already breached that through VR. But we can also breach listening through the headphones, so we have two of the most powerful senses already fooled that you are in this world. It's a full immersion. The first thing that really stuck with me on just the, the level of immersion you can get is like the first time I got a, a gun pointed in my face in virtual reality. It's just in your personal space now. But I would love to see how that can translate to other like non-violent games and ways that you can kind of get that same cool feeling. So what's actually happening is that we have different trackers. The trackers pick up different spots on your headset, which therefore create distances and positions. And if you have the hand controllers, those can give you some really cool movements that give you even more information that are actually designed for physics and this cool movement. I've experienced personally VR experiences where within 10 to 15 minutes, I forget that I'm in a virtual reality experience. It's so convincing that my mind relaxes and I just surrender to the immersion of the experience and have a lot of fun. If you look at everything from the headset makers to the software, it's so much more powerful than it was uh, just a few years ago. I think in a couple of years, we'll look back at all the VR cool stuff that we're doing right now and find it funny that we have big bulky units in front of our face. Like we have phones now. Before having a phone was just a giant, you have to carry a backpack, you have to carry this huge thing, right? Once we move away from having this awkward headset on your head and everything, people are gonna be able to like take this piece of technology and incorporate it into a culture and socially. And it's that's that's the next big step. Yeah.